Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the first opportunity that I have had to be with you in your home. And now that I am here, I hardly know what to say. Not that I am nervous, but because I am so glad to be with you. You know, I have had many partners on the screen. Mr. Wallace Berry, Mr. Lon Chaney, and the man who so unselfishly gave me my great opportunity, Mr. Charles Chaplin. He saw me on the stage with my daddy when I was only four and a half years old. At that time, he was looking for a little boy to play with him and the kid. And, well, you know the rest. But now I have a new partner. That is new here on the record. We have really been together about 14 years. And now, folks, I want you to meet my daddy. A boy's best friend is his mother. Just a moment, please. I said daddy, not mother. What seems to be the trouble, Jack? Why, they have you mixed up with mother. Well, for your information, every time I get mixed up with your mother, I always get the worst of it. There are, But there are several things I'd like to take up with you, Jack. Daddy, please don't lean on me. Why not? You've been supporting me for the last ten years, and please don't stop now. And one thing you must remember. Children should be seen and not heard. Yes, Daddy, but only in moving pictures. Oh, I don't think so. Well, why not? Not since the talking pictures came out. Oh, that's right, Dad. Aren't talking pictures wonderful? They're marvelous if you could only find out what they are talking about. You know, Daddy, it wasn't until talking pictures came out that I learned that so many of our leading ladies had bass voices. Tell me, Dad, who is your favorite talkie actor? Oh, I don't know. I think it's a toss-up between Lon Chaney and Rin Tin Tin. You know, Daddy, the other day at the studio, one of those rough Hollywood cowboys called me on the phone, and I really thought it was Mother. <coughs> Mr. Coogan? Which Mr. Coogan? Pardon me, Jackie. Don't ever lose track of the fact that I am Mr. Coogan. A young lady to see you, Mr. Coogan. Oh, it must be a relative of mine. Would you pardon me for a moment, Jackie? Why, certainly, Daddy. I never knew my Daddy had so many good-looking cousins. Folks, while Daddy's away, I'm going to tell you a little story. The other day, a man died. He had three pals, an Irishman, an Italian, and a Hebrew. His last wishes were that his three friends should each put $100 in his coffin to be buried with him. After the funeral, the three pals met. They were asked how they put their money in. The Irishman said, Well, I put in five $20 gold pieces. The Italian said, I put in a crisp new $100 bill. When the Hebrew was asked, he said, Well, boys, I took out the money and put in my check for $300. Jack, that's a wonderful joke. You really like it, Daddy. Well, the first time I heard it, I laughed so hard I fell out of my cradle. Daddy, I have a personal question to ask you. Go right ahead, young man. How did you make your living before you met me? Why, my dear boy, I've been an actor for years. I've played many prominent parts in my time, and my latest success was in Ben-Hur, when I played the hind legs of one of the horses in the chariot race. I also danced and sung. Well, Daddy, you can omit the dancing, but will you sing? Why, certainly I'll oblige. Sweet head, old eyes. Oh, Daddy, please stop. Why, what's the matter, Jack? I have just learned something. Well, what's that? After hearing you sing, I can understand why I had to go to work in pictures. Never mind, young man. My name was Coogan long before I met you. Yes, Daddy, but it didn't mean anything then. That's quite enough of that, young man. It's time we were leaving, but before we go, you should say a few words to the folks. They have been very quiet and attentive. You know, Dad, I've never made a speech. You've been working for me for ten years, and you're not going to fail me now. What was that I saw you writing? Why, that was a letter to Mother. Well, why not read that? What, here? I think it would be a beautiful gesture. Folks, Jackie has just written a letter to his mother, who's in California. Dear old California. That's where men are men and women are real estate agents. Read the letter, Jack. Dear Mother, we arrived safely. The Boy Scouts met me and presented me with the key of the city. Then they went around and changed all the locks. Be careful, Jackie, now. The mayor met me. Yes. The Ladies' Aid Society met me. Yes. The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children met me. That's true. And the police met Daddy. And Listen, young man, now quiet. For that last remark, I'm going to give you a good spanking. 
And remember, it will hurt me a lot more than it will you. Yes, Daddy, but not in the same place. Come along, young man. Come on. Goodbye, everybody. 